teenage hairspray. And she loves you too. Very much. Whoever you are. Gosh, this is crazy. Hello? What am I wearing? Uh, a house dress? Uh, some scuffies and a sub house. What are you wearing? Hello? Hello? Mama, did you see? Did you see? Of course, of course. It was on the television. I had to. The phone's been ringing like we was a telethon. So you're not mad? How could I be mad? You're famous. If you would have told me you would have gotten on the show, I would have never said you couldn't have. So tell me. Is fame everything you thought it would be? Are you happy, honey? Yes, Mama, and I think I'm in love. Oh, I know, I know, I know. I've been following, I've been following. But you and I need to have a big, long talk about crooners. We can both learn a lot from Miss Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> there it goes again. Hello. Yes, this is Tracy. Hello, Mr. Pinky. <laughs> Mr. Pinky is in Mr. Pinky's empty hideaway. Quality clothes for the quality kids. <laughs> What's that? You want me to be your new spokesmodel in fashion <laughs> effigy? What's an effigy? I don't know. Well, that's very <laughs> flattering, Mr. Pinky, but I'm afraid all business must go through my agent. It would be our pleasure. We'll be right over, Mr. Pinky. Thank you. I don't know any agents. How about a nice bail bondsman? Mother, put that thing down. I'm taking my new agent to the hefty hideaway and then out on the town. Tracy, you can't be talking about me. Fame has gone to your head and left you wacky. You need a top shelf professional. Who handled the Gabor sisters? Well, who didn't? There's a great big world out there that I know nothing about. When things get rough, a girl needs her mother. Hon. I'll do this with you if you want me to. And together we will claw your way to the top. But can we do it over the phone? I've been out of this park since maybe I had maybe I can help robbed her. Thanks and roll her hose. Thank you. 